It has mandated its committees in petroleum, midstream and downstream to investigate the call for the sack of the chief executive of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Authority, NMDPRA, Farouk Ahmed, over what it called unguarded comments on local refineries. This was sequel to the adoption of an amendment to a motion on urgent need to address the outrage resulting from the unguarded comments by the NMDPRA chief executive, sponsored by the member representing Oredo Federal Constituency of Edo State, Honorable Esosa Iyawe, at plenary yesterday. Iyawe said fuel quality could impact engine hardware, thus ultra-low sulfur diesel is recommended for all types of companies, power plants, storage tanks, industrial facilities, fleets and heavy equipment, and even ships, as high sulfur content in fuels causes damage to engines and contributes to air pollution. The lawmaker noted that NMDPRA permits local refineries to produce diesel with sulfur content of up to 650 parts per million until January 2025, as approved by the ECOWAS. He informed that recently the chief executive of NMDPRA stated that the diesel produced by Dangote refinery is inferior to the ones imported into the country and that their fuel had a large content of sulfur, which he put at between 650 to 1,200 ppm. Well, an act of economic sabotage. As this as the imported products have been shown to contain high levels of dangerous compounds, Mr. Speaker, the House resolves to call the federal government to suspend the chief executive of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Authority pending conclusive investigations into the allegations against the authority. Be referred to the Haddock Committee set up by this House Honorable Kuzada. to investigate the allegations against the MD. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.